What's up guys? Philip Collin, Pack Pythons. And today, I am trying my hand at rat taxidermy. I uh, found some really cool looking uh, taxidermied rats dressed up in silly costumes and all kinds of stuff. If you ever get a, if, you, if you're interested, curious, go to Google and just type in rat taxidermy and go to images and it's hilarious the stuff that people think of but anyways i have a friend who is a tattoo artist and i wanted to i, I jokingly told her one day i was going to get her one of those taxidermy uh rats and then i had the idea to try to figure it out myself since i have hundreds and hundreds of rats here with me so uh or not live rats, frozen rats. Anyways, uh, at this point, I uh, looked it up on YouTube, seemed pretty simple. I got some basic, uh, basic items needed to do it. Uh, borax is used to dry out the pelt or the skin. Um, you need some foam to fill in the body void, the space of the body. And then the person used some like molding clay for the head and beads for the eyes. Uh, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and use some more of this since I've got tons of it laying around. And I'm gonna use some, uh, I've got some needles for like sewing that have a black bead on the end. I'm gonna use those for the eyes. But my idea is I'm gonna take this little base here. I'm gonna build a little uh, table bed chair thing like from a tattoo parlor and I'm gonna make it look like I'm gonna make it look like the white uh, rat is tattooing the black rat or the white rat with black I'm gonna make it look like this one's tattooing this one so I don't know it's a little idea I came up with but I'm gonna put a time lapse together just of my workspace as I'm working through it hopefully you enjoy it and hopefully it turns out decent I don't know here we go. marker does not work well on the wood not the way I expected get a lot of so I get the focus you can kind of see it it's not really focusing well but all the speckling I mean I didn't really do this too much but all of that black is really getting kind of weird so 
So I'm gonna pick up some craft paint or I might actually have some upstairs. I'll go check it out and see. Uh, the wood look using the gold pen turned out pretty good. I like that. But I just want a nice clean black edge. And I want this to be a nice clean smooth looking black. So all right. Go find some more supplies. needs to just be attached somewhere right here by the foot I might yeah, it's probably gonna be by that foot and then I need to get a little piece of black wire that I'm gonna attach somehow to here and run it up over the hand to the tattoo gun as well but um, both rats are attached solidly so this is effectively a finished piece just a little more detail work to get it all tidied up and it'll be ready to give to my friend all right dudes that will conclude this very unusual episode of pack pythons rat taxidermy edition oh yeah <laughs> came out pretty good uh, not good enough to sell, but perfect for giving away to a friend. Uh, she's going to probably love it. I'm not, I would give it like a seven or a six out of 10. It's something I wanted to try. I would never do this to make money because I just, I am not the kind of person for the fine details at the very end of a project. So I typically, when I build stuff for myself, to anyone else, they think it looks awesome. From 10 feet away, the stuff I build looks great. But up close, the details bother me and stress me out. So, yeah, I don't I don't want to do any of this stuff for money. You could probably sell this thing for 200 bucks on Etsy or whatever. That's not for me. I just want to do it, entertain myself for a little while, say that I learned something new, and then move on to the next cool thing. So, you won't see any more rat taxidermy on my channel, but... Uh, who knows what we'll get into, but anyways, I appreciate you guys watching to the end. If you haven't already subscribed, definitely do that and hit the bell. So the next time I post some crazy new thing, you get to enjoy it. Y'all take it easy. If it ain't easy, don't take it. Peace.